Hi everyone, I'm Katie and I want to share some of my tips and tricks to help with my HSP and just show you what that means to me. So for Christmas this year, I didn't want to rely on my friends and family picking and choosing gifts that they thought I would like because in the past they've got me just junk that I was like, why did you give me this? I don't like adult coloring books because they have too much detail and it makes my eyes go buggy. So instead I made a list of things that I would love to have that I've seen advertised on Facebook or have thought, you know, maybe somebody's invented this and you guys could check it out. And I'm so thankful to share that most everything that I put on that list was given to me, <laughs> whether for Christmas or just after Christmas. Um, so let me start, I'll go from the top down. <laughs> <laughs> this is totally awesome, but I just got this last night. Um, this is a headband that is Bluetooth wired to my phone so that I can listen to music. There's little speakers in here, which is so awesome. It's not as bassy as I'd like them to be, but you know, it's good for drowning out other chatter of, you know, my kids or whatever when I'm just overwhelmed and need to just chill out for a few minutes. I can put this on and I can just relax with some of my soothing music or my favorite or to help me, you know, engage in a more upbeat, better attitude. I can put on something a little more bouncy. Um, and I, I think it was only 15 or $20. I, I didn't buy it, but I remember seeing the price when I was looking at it around Christmas time. And uh, did I mention you can sleep in it? That's totally cool. Like if I want to listen to something without disturbing um, babe in the bed, <laughs> totally can. Anyway, next up is this fancy dancy jacket. Um, maybe you can see this button is actually lit up red right now because it is on high. Uh, it has high, medium, and low temperature that this jacket supplies heat from a battery pack. It is so cool. Let me show you the inside. Now I'm always cold and I hate that and my babe is always hot. So this is my um, compromise to our relationship for helping him to stay cool and helping me to stay warm. I can just put this on wherever I am. This just plugs in with a micro USB or USB port. It has both on the battery pack and the little thing it stays in there and I still have an outside pocket. Same with this side. I feel it mostly the heat in my neck and it also warms up right here which I can't really feel with my bra on but sometimes I don't wear a bra <laughs> so it's all good. And I want to say there's more spot in the back that's heated too but I noticed it mostly in my neck. Um, Anyways, this jacket was, I think, $155 after tax and shipping, found on Amazon, and it's one that I specifically asked for from my family because they can all relate to my being cold all the time and want me to be comfortable and want Charlie to be comfortable. Next up is fleece line leggings, and these ones I asked for because they have pockets. They have a pocket on each side, one for my chapstick, one for my phone, and then there's also a little zipper pocket right here that I could use for a debit card or if I want to put my chapstick there or anything else, a little charger wire if I needed to, um, just to have on hand if I go for, you know, a jog or go to the store, whatever, if I might need that. Um, these, I want to say we're like $20 each or something, and I have gray ones and blue ones and they are super stretchy. They stay up fairly well. They also have a little drawstring right inside here that if I'm feeling like I'm too small, I can do that and then tie a little slip knot and it helps keep them in place like a belt. What else? Oh, I requested fleece line checks. <laughs> These are so warm and cozy. I love them. Um, I want to say they were $130 on their website, uh, on the Converse website before the Christmas promos and Babe was able to use two promos to get them down to $55. Now I don't know that that promo is still going, but it doesn't hurt to look. And I love how they're high tops. I've never had high tops before, but they're extremely comfortable. And um, you know, when you wear chucks during the cooler months, your feet totally freeze. So when you get these, you really know the difference. Like that rubber on the toe just totally transmits cold air 
um, onto your feet, especially like in the car if you don't have the heater on the floorboard running, you notice it. Um, but with these, I can walk outside, going to work, the five, ten minutes it takes to get there, and my feet are so nice and warm. Another thing, I guess I worked all the way down from head to foot before I just closed this one. I love my little Jelly Care bracelet. This is designed to um, squirt out hand sanitizer, but I use it for lotion. You just press gently on it and you have lotion with you everywhere you go. Um, super inexpensive. I think it was only like $10 on Amazon. There were a lot of different brands and different colors to choose from, but it just has a simple little uh, bracelet clip and um, it's completely washable. Uh, once a week I take it apart and wash out the lotion so it just has this little plug and I put like four pumps of lotion in it at a time. Close it up. If you overfill it, it will ooze out the back under your skin or if you accidentally bump into something or if you're sticking your hand in your pants trying to get your underwear down <laughs> before you button them back up and you accidentally put too much pressure, <laughs> it makes a mess. But usually I'm pretty careful with it and it <laughs> that doesn't happen very often, but occasionally it does, and it's pretty funny. One, two, three, four, five. I usually have it on the fifth one, so it's not too loose, not too tight. You can wear it. I have a sweatshirt and a jacket. You can wear it underneath both layers, and it's fine. On the other arm, I've got this new thing I'm so excited about. I just got this in the mail the other day. It is a snap bracelet that is writable. <laughs> this is so cool. I was like, I need something for my memory, my HSP, um, and some other things that have happened to me throughout my life caused me to have severe um, mental uh, memory problems. And I've, you know, mentioned to Charlie that, hey, if I had a little whiteboard that I could just mount on my wrist, I'd be able to, you know, remember everything because just write it down and it's right there. It's handy. Having whiteboards around the house or at work or note cards, those things worked when I was living by myself or with just my kids, but they don't work while I'm living with um, somebody else in a relationship and, you know, things just change when you're, when you're together. So Charlie um, has tried to help me come up with some alternate ways to improve my memory, but a lot of them just don't work or they're just not convenient all the time. So this was my go-to. I write on it with regular pen or regular colored pen, it doesn't matter, as long as it's oil-based. And I didn't bring my eraser out with me, but you literally just use any eraser and it just comes right off. Um, but yeah, it's a snap bracelet. <laughs> and it, it stays in place, you know, you take it everywhere with you. Um, you can get these on, I think it was Amazon for like 10 or $11, different colors. And there's different styles you can get. But I had the one uh, that has, I think, 20 little lines on it for, for notes. And there's little check boxes on every other line. And you can also put the day or date up at the top. I also forget what day it is and what date it is quite frequently. Um, you know, depending on if the kids have school or whatever or don't, that kind of helps. But, you know, I wake up in the morning going, what day is it? Like, I used to write the day of the next day on my whiteboard the evening before and now I'm just not in that habit and routine so this will be handy and again helpful for me what else oh my pop socket love this little doodad on my phone it makes it so easy and convenient when you know I'm trying to lay in bed texting on my phone or looking on Facebook and I don't want to like drop the phone on my face <laughs> I can just grab it by this either hand and I you know hands free I want to say these were ten dollars and I got it at I think Best Buy a while back um, you can find them almost anywhere some of them range to, up to like forty dollars and it's like why it's just a sticker with a little pulley thing and you can change the plate um, that's on it I have trouble getting it off Charlie gets it off no problem whatever it does come off anyways um, is there anything else that I want to share that helps me with my memory my HSP, my sensitivity is like, <clears throat> excuse me, oh, <clears throat> my dollar store sunglasses. <laughs> I don't have a pair on me right now, but they're plastic. They actually fit over my regular glasses that I normally wear. Today I have my contacts in, 
but normally um, I would just throw on my glasses and I have a pair of these sunglasses in like six different spots. I think in both of the cars, in my purse, at my desk at work, in the garage, in my toolbox, and there used to be one um, sitting right by the front door for if I just needed to go outside real quick, but I think those ones are put in the garage. So yeah, lots of different pairs of sunglasses. They're actually all the same style because there's only one that really fits well over my glasses. Um, but I like to have those because I'm very light sensitive. Right now that sun just kind of came out from a thicker clouds and it's kind of blinding. But um, even in the indoors, sometimes I'm complaining about the light and how it's just bothering my eyes and um, sunglasses really, really help in a lot of situations, especially on overcast days like today. Um, you know, just being in the car for five minutes, if I don't have the visor down, and if I don't have my sunglasses, I'm like throwing a fit. <laughs> my family doesn't like that. So I try to accommodate all of us by minimizing my complaints, um, by wearing sunglasses, by having my lotion, by having my chapstick, that's another huge one. I am so addicted to this crap. Um, it's been since I was 15 and I'm 32, almost 33. So what's that, uh, 18 years now? Something like that that I've been addicted. And I get these ones at um, Dollar Tree. I get them three for a dollar. And I go through one tube every three weeks, I think it is. So that's about 17 tubes a year, if that my math is correct from last time I checked. and. Um, I rarely lose it when I do, I'm freaking out, but I've tried to also stash one of these in all those places I just mentioned that my sunglasses are in so that I always have a backup and a bottle of lotion just in case um, and a nail file. Those things are all very important to me that help me to be comfortable in any environment that I find myself in because you know you snag a nail and you're just <clears throat> freaking out and my I can't bite my nails, my teeth, I just position just right that I can't fix it you know like that um my charlie he sometimes you know will hand me his multi-tool that's in his pocket that has a little metal file on it but i don't really like that one so i try to you know just have my own even if it's just a emery board broken in half tucked in this little pouch in my purse um anything that will help me get by until i get home and can fix it better sorry i'm looking at my cats which are also a huge part of my hsp smudge come here baby these little guys help me um, when I'm emotionally distressed and come here Moses. They help me to relax and calm down and um, they're just so soft. I just love my kitties. They've recently become outdoor kitties because they started spraying. And I think I know which one it is. I don't think it's both, but they both need to be outside. Come there, Smudgy. Come there. Come there. Hi. This is my smudge. You can see why. Good little smudge, my smudge. But he's a good boy. Huh, aren't you? I love you. He's the softest kitty ever. Anyways, um, I hope you've enjoyed this video and maybe I've given you some insight on some helpful tips and tricks to help you get through your day. Um, I'm trying to think of some other ones that I have that I haven't uh, shared with you yet. and. I can't think of any right now, but if I do, I will be sure to let you know. And please leave your comments of other things that you find helpful that, you know, help you cope with your HSP on a day-to-day -day basis. And, um, you know, I'll try to glean what I can from your experiences and your sharing so, um, so that I might, you know, be able to help modify my life a little better. And, you know, I, I, it's so overwhelming for the other people around me that I'm so sensitive to everything, whether it's heat or cold or to this, to that, too loud. Oh my gosh, too loud. The stupid TV is always too loud because Charlie can't hear. And I'm like hypersensitive to loud. <laughs> it's a constant battle. Babe, can you turn the TV down? And he... <laughs> He gets so mad, but he does it, you know, just two clicks. I'm like, it only needs to be one click down, but he has this number thing, and so it has to be two. I'm like, whatever, dude. So this little guy actually helps to block out just a little bit of the sound so that um, it's more tolerable. Got cat hair uh, for me, which is helpful to him. So I'm, you know, constantly trying to be aware of his needs and not just my own. But as we all know, like, we take care of ourselves first. Our comfort usually comes first and then we're able to care for those around us but like if I'm hungry 
forget it. I am all about, you know, I gotta get some food right now. I get hangry, I get mean, I get, you know, I just ugh, shot everybody out until I get some food because like, I'm like, I can't think straight. Like really, I can't think straight when I'm hungry, when I'm, when I'm past my tipping point. Like when I <laughs> was like, will you give me the hot dog buns? And Charlie's like, uh, we're having hamburgers. <laughs> And another time I put the eggnog up in the cupboard where the cups go and I don't know there's just so many funny stories of stupid crap that I've done or said when I was hungry because I just literally can't think straight anymore so I try to have granola bars or pop tarts or um, any kind of little snacks on hand um, in my purse and in my workspace that I can just grab and put in my mouth so that you know I can get by until the next meal but um, and another part of that is that I eat like every one to two hours. I hate that I have to do that, but if I don't, then I'm, you know, on the bridge of that tipping point where I get stupid or I get irritable and I don't like being that way around my kids or around my customers at work and I just would rather, you know, have something small to help boost my blood sugar. And I'm not diabetic. They said I'm not type. I'm like, are you sure? Then it's not my thyroid. They said my thyroid is close to needing some help and you know recalibrating but that's not they're not looking to help fix that right now because it's not an issue um, on the based on their their charts and statistics so gotta go with what the doctor says you know and just try to adjust my diet and my routines and um, maintain you know some sort of exercise and things like that in order to just be able to cope with my day-to-day -day, what I'm doing and um, gosh now as I keep talking I keep thinking of more and more stuff and sleep is another big one for me um, if I could I'd literally sleep 12 hours every day it sucks but it's what my body needs you know nine to ten hours minimum <clears throat> if I don't get that you know I'm struggling by three o'clock in the afternoon to stay awake so with that, I have this little, it's not the five hour energy brand, but it's a little energy shot that you can get like at the dollar store. That's where I typically get mine. It's got like B vitamins and whatever in it. But I literally just take one little sip. You know, I don't even drink the whole thing. It takes me like two or three weeks to drink a whole one. But I keep it in my backpack and just take one little sip and I'm bloop, totally perked up and ready to go. You know, my attitude gets better. My everything doesn't bother me so much if I'm just feeling sluggish and don't want to finish the project I'm working on you know I can trump through that with a little more pep in my step um, but going back to the sleep thing if I could like <laughs> this weekend I did <clears throat> excuse me I slept until 1230 yesterday afternoon and until noon the day before <laughs> <laughs> well, yesterday isn't a weekend, Monday. It, it is our weekend for our store hours. Um, we take Sundays and Mondays off. And it felt great. It felt really good. I was all happy in dreamland and, you know, never felt better. But the other people in my house, they're like, Mom, why are you sleeping all the time? Because I'm tired. Well, didn't you sleep enough? No. <laughs> my kids totally don't understand. And Charlie wants to spend time with me. And, you know, it seems like it's just not fair but um, that's what my body requires and my battery even if I do get enough sleep my battery runs out before everyone else's does I just have a leaky battery and I've come to terms with being okay with that Charlie is an energizer bunny so is our three-year-old Nathan <laughs> and Oliver he's somewhere in the middle our 11 year old but you know Charlie's finally accepted that Katie just can't do as much as I can and Katie gets worn out easier um, and he does what he can to help me. You know, if the kids are running me ragged, he, you know, sends them outside to go play or gives them something else to do or feeds them when I just can't function and um, all kinds of things that he does on a daily basis. And, and, you know, I just pray that everybody else that has HSP and mental health issues and PTSD and all that can have a supportive spouse that will uh, be understanding and helpful and cooperative and patient and comforting and encouraging um, when we are going through our hard times. Um, something else that I've been finding value in lately is needing to reach out to my girlfriends. Charlie is not one of my girlfriends and as much as I want him to be, he doesn't speak girl and he doesn't get excited about the stupid little things that I do like new nail polish colors. 
<laughs> new makeup, new way of doing things, new this, new that. He just is a guy and he wants to talk about guy stuff like video games and gun parts and I'm like, whatever, dude. <clears throat> Which in turn shows me that he needs his guy friends as much as I need my girlfriends. Because he needs someone to get excited about those things the way that he want, I want my girls to be excited about my stuff. Um, so I'm going to be reaching out to my girlfriends that have always been there for me and, you know, send them a little note that says, you know, I need you, I miss you, I love you, I want you to be active in my life because since I moved here nine, ten months ago, I haven't really had any interaction with my girlfriends because I've thought that I got everything I needed from Charlie, but there's just some things that he can't fulfill because that's not his role in my life. His role is to be supportive, to be a spouse, to be a husband, to be a father, to be protector and a leader but he's not a girlfriend <laughs> I just gotta accept that so anyway um now I think that's it I think I've gone five minutes over what I originally uh had thought I was gonna talk for at 15 minutes um <laughs> trying to think if there's anything else before I go and I think not so I'm going to let the kitties in the house for a little bit, snuggle with them, eat my lunch because I'm hungry, and just take a break before um, my little one comes home off the bus and chatters and chatters and chatters all day long, wanting hugs, wanting hugs, wanting hugs, which is great. I love that. I love that Nathan wants hugs, but he just, mama, can I watch dinosaurs on my show? And you know, <laughs> he's three. Um, anyways. I'm doing good. I'm happy where I am in life and I hope you are too. If you're not, reach out. There are people that can help you. There are resources even if you need to go online to get the help that you need, whether you know it's physical help or mental health, emotional, financial support. There's all kinds of resources. You just got to find out where to look. Anyways, thank you for listening and I will catch up with you later. Bye-bye.